Hi there, I'm back with another tutorial and this one's going to uh, focus a bit on drums, grouping, multi-out plugins, and some other tricks uh, just for uh, making effective drum programming in Renoise. So let's get right into it. And to start, I've just got the basic 909 kit that comes with Renoise built in and we will start with just a basic uh, drum beat that we're going to uh, build here. So, let's just build a nice funky sort of, uh, So we have just our basic uh, drum beat here, and we'll copy it and get a pattern, and I'll introduce you to the first uh, technique. And that first technique is going to be grouping. So we have our drums, let's name the channels, kick, snare, hi-hat. Um, with these channels, now that we have them all named, we will go right click and insert group, aka control G. And we can group these all into one group and we'll say these are our sample drums. Now the wonderful thing about everything in a group is that because they're all in a group, you can process them individually. As you can hear very obviously with the kick there, or you can process them as a whole. So it's a very powerful technique. Uh, it lets you uh, just have a complete bus for a group of instruments and do all sorts of things to them. Um, so, now that we have our basic beat, uh, I'll introduce you to a couple simple drum programming techniques that Renoise supports. Um, first of all, velocities. Um, velocities can sort of uh, help the uh, feel of a drum beat, give it a little more um, of a uh, push and pull, and sort of uh, accent and de-accent certain hits and stuff. So one thing I like to do is just change the volume of the um, hi-hats to alternate a little bit or uh, have a little bit of up and down motion. Um, and we're going to use a block loop. It's subtle, but it sort of adds a little push and pull to the beat. Um, It's a, uh, the kind of thing that you don't really notice up front, but adds a little more depth to, to each thing. Um, the other technique I like to use a lot um, that not a lot of people know, to, know about is something called note cuts. And note cuts are, are really neat. Um, the Renoise uh, sample uh, command lets you uh, take notes and cut them after a certain amount of ticks. So, uh, for example, we have a couple here, and if by using the C command, it just, you know, cuts it right off at that point. Um, and then by lowering volume, uh, you get some pretty convincing uh, ghost note effects. So you can hear that. It adds a, definitely a little bit of depth and texture to the sound. A uh, very cool, subtle uh, technique, uh, but definitely uh, can be very powerful if you use it the right way. Um, so moving on, uh, we have our uh, B 
speed built up here and we'll just copy it over. Oh, um, a couple other uh, tricks here uh, that are pretty obvious. Uh, you can do these uh, note cuts and stuff. Uh, there's a little bit of weirdness to Renoise, um, where if you use the sample commands, uh, you will not trigger anything on VSTs, but if you use the panning or volume columns, uh, you will. So for example, I'll set this up to be super obvious. Um, you'll notice the VST isn't cutting at all. We just have our uh, but if you put them in the volume column or what I recommend is the pan column, um, you will get um, the note cut action, which is very helpful when you're building kind of like funky uh, uh, sort of uh, uh, you can hear just there it just adds a lot of you know there's really uh, short notes that can add a lot of like funkiness to the to the sound, so that's a very cool trick uh, that not a lot of people know about in Renoise. Um, so um, we're going to mute these and we're going to move on to the next part, which is going to be a very brief primer on multi out. So we have our dramatic uh, here. Uh, it's a freeware VST. Uh, I'll put a link to it in the notes uh, at some point. And uh, I just have it set up with uh, very basic settings. And we'll use the uh, brutal cat. And again, we'll just make a very basic drum beat. dramatic notes and we'll add a couple more channels in here and rename them dramatic kick dramatic snare and dramatic hats all right and we're going to go control G and put these all into a big group of themselves and name this dramatic. Now this is great because uh, more than a few plugins contact uh, for example if you had lots of money and purchased it uh, many samplers um, dramatic whatever they have multi outputs um, and to use them uh, in the instrument settings you go to this output button and you can see you have to activate these buses. All right. And then you click here on the right. And we'll assign these to dramatic kick, dramatic snare, and dramatic hats. And then when we go into dramatic, you'll notice it has a channel button. So we'll go to the kicks, channel one, bust one, snare, channel two, bust two, and hi-hats, channel three. And then we'll change the clap to the snare channel two. And now, 
when you go to the track DSPs, you'll see that each individual channel um, is getting its own output. And of course, uh, with that, you can do whatever you want here. So it's uh, very, very powerful. Um, and just for a really obvious example, we'll put That's a bit loud. Let's add a distortion onto here too. So super obvious, uh, the kind of creative possibilities you can get from there. Um, this, for example, uh, you will have to mute the notes in here in order to get this to stop playing. So. You can sort of see, and it'll output also to the group. So if we wanted to like compress it really hard, we could also do that. Um, cool. So that's multi-out plugins in a nutshell. And the last thing I want to show very briefly is how drum slicing and drum loops work in Renoise. So we'll mute this. And we have a standard drum loop uh, that we've gotten. And uh, we'll try putting the loop on forward. We'll see it goes through, but it doesn't loop to our tempo. So what we'll usually do is hit the sync button. And you can hear it's dropped in pitch, it loops to the tempo. That in itself is fairly powerful. Um, however, uh, in recent versions of Renoise, it's also gotten an integrated drum and sample slicer. Uh, before you had to do this manually by hand, but now by hitting this slice button in the sample editor window and then hitting the button right next to it, it will automatically uh, slice and map all the slices for you. A very powerful technique. Don't use it just on drums. And this button controls the threshold, how sensitive it is. So the lower you put it, the less sensitive it'll be. The higher you put it, it'll give you more slices. 50% um, is fine. And then of course, if you want to, you can zoom in and tweak and change the slice markers and everything uh, if you want to uh, tighten up your sounds or breaks or anything. Um, so it will usually map things to C4 and C4 will trigger the whole sample, uh, usually synced and then each individual sample will be mapped above that. And it looks like uh, you can hear the samples are skipping or making a, a weird noise. So we select all of these and we turn the loop to off because it's looping the samples. And we have a very basic uh, kind of uh, beat going on here. And by using a few of those tricks, um, we can get a more kind of uh, dynamic sound. And I'm just going to
Uh, usually I put C3 in just because it's kind of a nice uh, middle ground. And you can hear there it's just now turned into, you know, a funky kind of uh, breakbeat drum loop. And then uh, the other thing I introduced in my last video, the volume envelope. can kind of shape and tighten up the sound. So this is a really nice tool just in case you want your beat to sound really tight. Or kind of give it a looser sort of feeling. Um, it just kind of depends on what your, uh, your aims are with this. Um, so the slicing feature in Renoise is very powerful. And uh, you can also use all your different sample effects, for example, we can put retrigger on here or whatever. And, you know, uh, just cut up the beat in all sorts of crazy ways. Uh, breakbeat aficionados can go absolutely nuts with this and make just, you know, sick breakbeat, uh, fuck up, shitty, incredible sounds. Uh, but that more or less is the uh, fundamentals of Renoise drum programming. So as you can see, you get a lot of really powerful techniques. And you can combine things and get a lot of mileage out of very few samples. Uh, and take these techniques and expand them in some pretty creative and interesting directions. So that is our tutorial for today. And I will see you guys later.